Okay, so you just watched the intro overview video of these words about the cell membrane and how it relates. So we're going to go a little further here. Now, I don't expect you to memorize this completely, but I want to show you the structure. So in the last drawing, I showed you the cell membrane like this. Watch my mouse. This is like the exterior part where the water is, and those are those polar heads I was talking about that likes to interact with water because it needs to react with water, interact with water. Here's the inside part right here. And right in here is like your nucleus and everything else. But right in here, do you, what do you notice? These tails, okay? So out here is polar. The red, the red part is polar. The red part is polar, can handle being in water. The interior region is nonpolar, those tails, those fats that are nonpolar, CH carbon, um, excuse me, hydrocarbon molecules. So if we take a look at this, Look at this drawing. This is the head area. This is polar up here. It has a charged group. And if you notice up here, see the phosphate poly. Now, I don't expect you to understand the perfect bonding of all this. This is organic chemistry. You'll get this in college. Okay, be it's beyond AP bio. You have to memorize some of this, but not here. So this is the polar head group. You've got a phosphate group up here, which is charged. You have a nitrogen, which is slightly charged. Do not worry about why it's like that. This goes a little bit beyond us in terms of that chemistry. I just need to know this part is polar, it loves water. So this here is like here, which is here, the red head part, like the red head of the thing, and down here, okay? So what connects the polar head, right? Head, head to the tail, this backbone. It's called the glycerol backbone. And what do you notice about the fatty acid chains? What do you notice about them? They all are what? Hydrocarbons that are nonpolar. So here's the tail and here's the tail. And I honestly don't like one of these. And the reason why I don't is because one of the, there's a reason why this is bent right here. It's bent right there because one of these should be showing a double bond. Okay, because this is an unsaturated tail. This is a saturated tail. We'll get to that later. Don't stress about that. I just need you to know this is the nonpolar hydrophobic region. This is the hydrophilic head region. This is the connection between the two. So then, as we move to this part, here's a better example of it. Here's, I like this. So the head kind of has that backbone where the, so let's start with that first, charged phosphate group. Okay, don't worry about R right now. We'll do that in about two weeks. Here's the connection. This is where like the chain of fats hangs from. These, it's like, Here's the head, here's the hook. Well, what's being hooked from it? Hydrophilic head, we have two. Here's our hydrocarbon nonpolar tail. Here's the other hydrocarbon nonpolar tail. But what, what are these zigzag things? These are actually, it's like CHC, CHC. This is like a shorthand way to show all this. See this right here? And, and right here, I talked to you about it already. See this for a second line? That means a double bond at this carbon. So it's like, this is a carbon, 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 carbon. Each point is a carbon. I can assume there's two hydrogens off each one to fulfill the octet rule. Now again, I'm going fast because you should know this stuff. And if you haven't been studying, you're going to be sitting here zoning out and you are wasting your time. So you might as well just log off, get your fake grade, and go to ninth grade, have fun in 10th grade. Everything. But again, if you're with me here or close to it, you know, struggling, but are kind of hanging, that's where you need to be. Right here, same thing. Carbon, 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 carbon. Wait a minute, double bond. Well, I showed that right there. And that's what causes the bend in the tail. And I don't need to stress it over with why it's bent. Just chill. Saturated means fulfilled octet rule, all single bonds. Unsaturated means there's a double bond at certain places. So this is the hydrophobic tail. This is the hydrophilic head. Why? There's a charged polar group up here and nonpolar region down here. And that's why this is amp ampy. Pathic, both polar, nonpolar, right? That's how it's designed, okay? And a, a gazillion of these make up the cell membrane. So I'm gonna attach this on here so you guys can take a look at it. Then I'm gonna put you to a Khan Academy video. And I just need you to really be familiar with the first half of the second half, how things go across. I want you to watch it. I want you to, you know, think about it a little bit. It's important, okay? So that should help understand. Understand, like, we're just trying to apply polarity and nonpolar stuff to real life. And I pick this because this applies polar likes polar, nonpolar likes nonpolar. 
but also I'm gonna apply it to something that can help you next year in biology and how it relates to real life. And you just wait, we haven't even seen the best of the stuff yet. So this is the start, okay? So I'm gonna hit stop share and you guys should have taken notes on this and hopefully you did well with it. Okay, then you're gonna see a Khan Academy video next.